Hi, it's Hannah here, and today we're looking at ways to saddle, sit on, and start your horse calmly and positively. There are too many examples of horses being very frightened, whether they're running or they're bucking, and um, when they're first saddled or sat on, and that's a sign that the horse is really frightened, and we want it to be lovely and calm. As you can see, this was the first time everybody, anybody had sat on this guy here. So this begins with saddling, and this um, shows Becca working with Zulu who had a huge fear of saddles when he arrived to her, and you can see that this is quite far down the process of her teaching him to be calm and relaxed and that saddles are nothing to worry about. So we always begin with lots of playing with things on your horse's back and making sure they're really comfortable with the tack. This is one of our CT Club members with her youngster wearing her saddle in a fun groundwork session, just doing fun games. It was the first time she'd worn it in a session and that's another really key piece. She'll be calm and relaxed all the way through. When it comes to the riding, then we first piece we look at is starting at the mounting block. And here, this is a mare who came to me for retraining who had big issues at the mounting block. And you can see that the first thing I was doing was just teaching her how to line up. Once she was happy being in position, then we could start building positive associations with having somebody leaning over her back and feeling weight on her back and things like that. Now, I always recommend when you're beginning this stuff um, that it's really helpful to have a safety person on the ground. So here you can see CT coach Claire working with Rachel, um, again, on um, working with a horse who had previous issues. And um, she is just, again, building up with the saddle, foot in the stirrup, leaning over. Um, she's wearing a hat and Rachel is there on the ground with the lead rope just in case. It gives everybody that support and keeps it nice and safe because you want to build up as many positive experiences as possible. Um, having said that, you will see some clips in this uh, where people are, we've got a lot, of the, a lot of clips from different members and we've got a lot of free spirits. <laughs> so that's not always the case, but this is definitely how we would recommend that you do it. Spend lots of time here. This is another example of building up the um, positive experiences of a young horse first experiencing a person and weight on his back. Now I think this is a really interesting video because you can see here that Melanie's teaching the horse how to bend around and take treats from the rider with the help of somebody on the ground. So this is something we spend time on working at the mounting block but also um, as you begin to lean over your horse's back it's great to help keep the connection that they are that they know it's you and that they are used to bending around and taking treats from you from that position and that transfers really well to the saddle as well so this is another one of our members um, and she has been following our course and is working on um, backing and sitting on her youngster the first time for the very first time and this shows the actual first time that she did it. So again, you can see he knows to stand at the block, he's calm and relaxed, she's got a helper on the ground. And because she's done so much leaning over, leg over, touching his ears, touching his tail, that transition from the work that they've done previously at the block to actually sitting on his back wasn't anything for him to worry about. And all good training with horses is a very smooth progression like this. There should never feel like there's a big step up. You can see how calm that was for the first time he experienced the weight of a rider on his back. So this is CT coach Venya sitting on her young horse for the first time. And um, you can see again that the, the horse is really calm. She's connected, she's relaxed. Venya is using a target here to, um, to help Jesse stay connected and focused. Um, you've seen some of the handlers on the ground using the targets, the kind of helper person um, in some of these other videos, but here uh, Venya is using it, which is another really nice way to keep that connection as you move from the ground to your horse's back. Because you really want your horse to know it's you, to be happy with it, to be consenting, and to be it to be something that they enjoy. This is another one of our members, the first time she sat on her horse. And again, she's done all the preparation with the tack, with the mounting block. You can see that throughout the horse is connected to her. Again, you often see with, with videos with the first time the horses are sat on, there's somebody at the front holding them really tight and they don't really have the time to kind of understand what's going on um, with the person on their, their back or what's happening. 
And yes, they get used to the weight of the person, but often then it's quite difficult to get that connection with, from the ride, uh, to the rider later on. And this way, with this work at the block, really gets that connection from the start. So again, this is a, a, another one of our members working on it and sitting on the horse. And again, look, you can just see all the way through because of the process of working at the block, leaning over, it's, it's, that connection is really strong throughout. And yet another one. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing it in the middle of a field with loose horses, but this is a really beautiful clip. Um, and uh, like I say, I would definitely recommend a safe space a helmet and a helper, but this is a really beautiful example of how calm and connected that first sit can be. And having another horse there can give your horse confidence. You can see these two horses are clearly really good friends and um, it's such a, a beautiful example of that relaxation and connection. So this is Luby again, who you first saw being taught to line up at the mounting block. And this is what my mounting, um, what I want the mounting to look like before I'll even take a step. So the process is she's used to happy in the tack. She understands how to line up. Um, we've gone through leaning over, having a helper and gradually building up to put the whole thing together until she's really happy to line up, um, stand for me to get on and stay connected as I mount. Her big issue was bolting um, as soon as somebody hit the saddle. <laughs> so this connection really switches that around because they are steady, calm and tuned in from the beginning. Now it comes to taking first steps. So this is um, another one of our members. Now, um, Caroline's working here again, uh, bridleless. I tend to, to teach them in a um, with reins, <laughs> but like I say, we've got a lot of free spirits and there it is a different way of doing it, which is also really lovely if that's what you want to do. Um, but in order to get the first steps, we teach going to a target. Now, um, the very first time it'll just be one step. These guys are a little bit further down the, the line, but you can see again, the connection at the mounting block and then the stationary target helps to give the horse that focus. It's something they know on the ground. You want it to be a very smooth transition. It's pretty easy for them to do. So this is another one of our members and this is a very typical setup that I teach. So I'll have a square of targets out, the mounting blocks part of it. Again, you can see really calm, connected horse, um, happy to line up, connected to the rider right from the word go, standing nicely and then you can go a couple of steps to the first target. And there are other videos on this, but this just as a general overall view, you want the first steps with your horse to be um, carrying a rider to be calm and relaxed and connected. And just having a couple of steps to a, a target that they love um, is a really good way to do this. Now this that bit's interesting because then you can see she's asking a horse to move on to the next target and you can see that they're early in the stages of this and there's just that little conversation. But because the horse is so connected to the rider, they can have that conversation together and then um, work it out as a team and move on to the next target to get the reward. Thank you for watching. I hope that's given you lots of ideas for getting started calmly, confidently, and in a really connected way with your horse. If you want to find out more about our approach, then please check out the Connection Training Club, which is our online membership site. There we have hundreds of step-by-step, um, -step, in-depth video tutorials and home study courses. We have a whole home study course on starting your horse under saddle, which um, is a progressive course that takes you through our approach, starting with the preparation, looking at calm, consensual, relaxed, tacking up, and uh, making sure the first time you've put a saddle on your horse is a positive experience. We're working from the ground, teaching voice and rein cues for walk, halt and turn, working at the mounting block, lining up, staying connected, being calm, right up to um, in the saddle and teaching some basic ridden cues. We also offer a lot of support through the CT Club. So we have an exclusive forum. We offer um, Q and A's where you can chat to Rachel and I directly each month and um, to answer your questions. You can also access all of the previous Q and A recordings. It's always really interesting hearing the range of um, questions and things that people are working through. We also do monthly study groups. So um, these are on a specific topic and each week you'll get um, a video and an exercise and you can share your video or questions um, in the group to get feedback from myself, Rachel, or one of the coaches. Really useful to help um, make progress and stay focused on specific topics. 
All of this is involved in the membership. If you want to find out more, head over to connectiontraining.com. You can find out more about us and also the CT Club. And you can sign up there too. Um, the CT Club is memberships monthly, so it's not a big commitment. You can join for as long or short as you like. And um, the first month's half price, so you can check it out and see if it's for you. You can also find out more in our best-selling book. Just go to Amazon and search for Connection Training. It's available at other bookshops as well. And um, that gives you an overview of our philosophy. And there's a whole chapter in there on starting your horse under saddle too. So I hope that um, helps and happy horse training.